grief. I knew these Escalades were huge, but oh, all right. But this is at least an Escalade hybrid, the grand apologist of giant SUVs. Let's take it for a spin, burn a few hundred gallons, and check the tech. No lack of badging saying it's a hybrid. I'm not sure if that's brand messaging or defensive posture. As Molly Wood pointed out, Cooley, those are not gonna keep you from getting keyed in downtown San Francisco. Now this hybrid stuff gets a little surreal when you realize this thing has a six liter V8 power plant. 332 horsepower, 367 foot pounds of torque. It does get up out of its own way rather nicely, but you never forget you're driving a monolith that would make an Inca in these. But you can't laugh at the results, 2021 MPG, notably better than a standard Escalade's miserable 1219. Helping the mileage is auto stop when you're at a red light, cylinder shutdown that cruises on four cylinders when it can, and the Lade Hybrid runs pure electric at low speeds. Power goes out of this column-mounted four-speed automatic. Kind of Neanderthal stuff at this point in history, but it does the job. When you got enough torque, you don't need to fuss with gears, to be honest. Magnetic ride control, active suspension is standard, and it handles chop, as well as this thing's height, without a lot of boatiness. The hot trend, blind spot detection, also standard, flashes a warning in the mirror, but doesn't correct you if you decide to cream whatever's lurking there. Now the hybrid Escalade is considered a top trim ride and just about everything is standard. Big old screen right there, touch screen, little tilty action here so you can kill the glare. And that carries a whole lot of different functions. Of course, we're watching a movie right now, which is also being shown on our rear seat entertainment system. Obviously we have GPS, DVD navigation here. Again, DVD based, not hard drive yet. Great rendering though. I've always liked this current generation GM rig. Nice big touch buttons for big old horsey folks who drive a ride like this. Now it's a GM ride, so obviously in addition to screen-based nav, you've also got your OnStar turn-by-turn -turn navigation. You can call them, say give me directions, load them onto my little display, or you can use the map. The sound comes out of a Bose rig. It's a 5.1 surround system. It's got audio pilot noise cancellation, XM, no HD radio, no iPod adapter, no USB. You do have an aux jack, but it's in the form of RCAs back here that are sort of part of the rear seat entertainment system. Interesting note, by the way, if you're gonna configure one of these online, the website will tell you with nav, you can't have a six disc in-dash changer, but here it is. Now about that rear seat entertainment system, it is a flip down center roof right in the way of your rear view mirror. I hate that. Kind of a cheap out. They should have put two monitors, one in each headrest. It comes with a wireless remote, two sets of these wireless headphones that for some reason are devoid of Cadillac branding. Missed an opportunity there. Good looking screen though, Panasonic branded. And of course, when you're piloting something just a little smaller than the USS Missouri, you need to have some help with parking. So of course, standard rear view camera when you put this thing in reverse. Uh, good visuals, but no guidelines to show you how far you are before something goes crunch. And you also have ultrasonic park sensors, all standard. For our five foot tall viewers who are saying, that's cool, I want one of them Escalades, and I'll buy an eight foot ladder to get in it. There's good news, you can optionally get power floorboards. Open up whenever you open a door. The Escalade Hybrid comes basically loaded at 74.5. All wheel drive would add 35.50 to the base. And that power running board option, another 1100. A milk stool would be cheaper, but not as cool.